Did you know that India has been making remarkable strides in mega projects and cutting edge technology? After considering numerous comments and developments over the past few years, it's high time we unveil the top 10 mega projects in India. From the tallest railroad bridge to the world's largest solar farm, India's achievements are truly astounding. Chennai Bridge. Let's begin with number 10 on our list. The Chinap Bridge, which costs $180 million. Many of the big projects in India aim to make different areas easier to reach. One of these projects is the Chennai Bridge in the Jammu and Kashmir region, which has often been a place of conflict. This bridge stands 359 meters above the Chennai River, making it taller than even the Eiffel Tower. It's the tallest railway bridge globally. Before this bridge was built, the only way to reach Kashmir from the rest of the country was by using the Srinagar Jammu National Highway. But this road is often closed for a few weeks each year due to harsh winter conditions. Thankfully, the new Chenna Bridge will solve this problem when it opens later this year. Besides providing a new road, the bridge will also have important strategic uses and help India have more control over the area. Palais Royal Now, let's talk about number 9 on our list. The Palais Royal in Mumbai which costs $380 million. Mumbai, India's financial hub, is famous for its tall buildings, and the tallest of them all is the Palais Royal, reaching 320 meters. It has taken quite a while to finish this building due to various delays. Construction started in 2008 with a lot of excitement. It was supposed to be a fancy residential skyscraper for the city's wealthy residents. However, the project ran into legal problems causing delays and increased costs. Despite all the legal battles, construction continued and the building reached its full height in 2018. But then, work on the exterior and interior of the building stopped once again. A year later, the skyscraper was auctioned off for just $85 million. After that, the country's top court allowed construction to resume. Although the construction is ongoing, people still have doubts about whether this skyscraper will be useful and fully occupied. The latest completion date for the Palais Royal is now expected to be in December 2023, with a total cost of $380 million. However, when you compare this cost to the other mega projects, it seems quite reasonable. Zojila and Zimor Tunnel. Moving on to number 8 on our list, the Zojila and Zimor Tunnel projects, with a budget of $1.2 billion. Kashmir is the site of a billion-dollar project where tunnels are being dug to connect the valley with Ladakh. Two important tunnels in this project are Zojila and Zimor, located on the srinagar Leh Highway. The Zimor Tunnel will create a 6.5-kilometer link between Srinagar and Ladakh, making these areas reachable during the winter months. On the other hand, the longer Zojila Tunnel, spanning 14 kilometers, will connect Leh and Srinagar. Building this tunnel is a significant challenge as it's in one of India's toughest terrains near the Zojila Pass. It's situated at an altitude of 3,500 meters, making it one of the world's highest tunnels for vehicles. Work on these two tunnels is set to be completed by 2024, and the government is already making plans to expand the network in the upcoming years. Mumbai Coastal Road. Let's talk about number seven on our list, the Mumbai Coastal Road Project with a budget of $1.7 billion. Mumbai is not just about tall buildings, it's also getting major upgrades in its infrastructure in 2023. The city has a big problem with traffic jams, with vehicles moving at less than 25 kilometers per hour on average. But there are a few projects that will change how people get around Mumbai very soon. For a cost of $1.7 billion, the city is getting a 29-kilometer coastal road where vehicles will be able to travel at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. This road will even have two-kilometer-long tunnels under the Arabian Sea. The first phase of the project, which covers 10 kilometers and connects Princess Flyover Road to the Worli Sea Link, is 75% complete and will be open for traffic by the end of the year. Navy Mumbai Airport Now let's look at number 6 the Navi Mumbai International Airport, with a budget of $2.3 billion. Mumbai is India's busiest city, but it faces a problem with too much traffic at its main international airport. This airport can handle over 50 million passengers each year, but it's often full. It has just one runway, so there's limited room for expansion, 
and airlines struggle to get slots for more flights. To solve this issue and reduce congestion at the current airport, a private group started building a new airport in 2017. Phase one of the project will be done next year, easing the load for about 20 million passengers using the main airport. The rest of the project will happen over the next 10 years, and it will cost $2.3 billion. Eventually, the Navi Mumbai Airport will be able to handle 90 million passengers every year, making it one of the world's largest airports. However, some aviation experts and activists are concerned about the location of the new airport. It's very close to important bird sanctuaries, which could pose a risk of bird strikes for aircraft. Mumbai Trans Harbor Link Now, let's move on to number 5 on our list. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, with a cost of $2.4 billion. One essential part of the improved transportation system is a 22-kilometer, six-lane bridge over the sea connecting central Mumbai to Navi Mumbai. There has long been a need for a bridge to bring Mumbai closer to major cities like Nagpur, Goa, and Pune. However, no solid plans were in place until 2004. The first four attempts to start building the bridge failed because of unrealistic bids from various contractors. Finally, in 2018, the government of Maharashtra gave two different contracts to construct the Trans Harbor Link. This approach helped avoid construction delays, and the link will be open to traffic in just five years. Starting in 2024, it's expected to handle 70,000 vehicles every day, with average speeds reaching 100 kilometers per hour. Talera Solar Park As the years go by, we're making progress in renewable energy. The government has set an ambitious goal to generate 175 gigawatts of power from renewable sources in the coming years. The Dalera Solar Park is a crucial part of this plan. This project is happening in two phases as part of the larger Dalera Smart City project. When it's all done, it will produce a whopping 5 gigawatts of energy, making it the biggest solar park globally. The first phase is currently under development and should be finished by the end of the year. The entire project is expected to be completed by 2030, and it's going to cost over $3 billion. By the way, if you're enjoying the information so far, please consider subscribing to our channel right now. More than 95% of our viewers haven't subscribed, and it would make a huge difference to our channel. Now let's move on to number 3, the Sardar Sarovar Dam. With a budget of $8.2 billion, Sardar Sarovar Dam. The way water resources are shared among India's huge population is a big challenge. To tackle this issue, there's the Narmada Valley Development Project. It's all about creating a network of dams, canals, and reservoirs in the Narmada River Basin. The idea for this project was first brought up in the 1940s. The plan involved building a bunch of dams and canals along the valley. But like many plans for water and power distribution, this project has been the center of debate for years because of its effects on society and the environment. The largest of these dams in the basin is the Sardar Sarovar Dam. Construction started in 1987, and it took another 30 years to deal with environmental concerns, long-lasting legal battles, and arguments between different states. Finally, in 2017, the 1,450 megawatt hydroelectric project was officially opened, and it cost a total of $8.2 billion. This dam now helps with farming and provides electricity to four states in India. Jifti City now, let's take a look at number two on our list, Jefti City in Gujarat, with a whopping budget of $11 billion. India aims to compete with global financial centers like the United States, the United Kingdom, and Singapore. Gujarat International Finance Tech City, Jeft City, is leading this effort by attracting some of the world's biggest financial players. Construction of this $11 billion business district began in 2013, and it houses banks, capital market firms, insurance companies, and manufacturing units. Right now, there are more than 200 operational businesses on the 900-acre site, and international exchanges are trading over $4 billion daily. Some prominent tenants in the Special Economic Zone include the Bombay Stock Exchange, Brokers Forum, and the National Stock Exchange. It's also home to India's first bullion exchange, which will help set the international standard for gold prices. Although it's currently known as a smart city, India's largest tech hub will soon transform into the GFT global city, with the government giving the green light to triple its size. 
Dalera Smart City India has an even more enormous project in the works, and it's twice as costly. It's our number one, Dalera Smart City, with a budget of $22 billion. This project is part of the multi-billion dollar Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, and it's progressing rapidly. Dalera Smart City will include high-speed trains, expressways, and a brand new international airport. It will be home to major manufacturing industries like electronics, aviation, and defense. The entire city will be 1.5 times the size of Mumbai and is expected to accommodate over 2 million people. Right now, they're working on the first phase, mainly focusing on improving the infrastructure in the central business district. The following phases will involve developing the city's landscape and welcoming nearly 200,000 people into a growing community. The project will take 15 years to complete and is divided into six stages. The Lara sets the stage for eight more industrial cities planned for the future, completely changing India's urban landscape. Despite the impressive plans, India's massive smart city projects have faced criticism. Some people believe that projects like Dalera Smart City are more about idealistic urban planning and might not bring in as much return as the money spent on building and running them. Also, there's a risk that resources are being redirected from existing urban centers that badly need upgrades. However, the government led by Narendra Modi appears undeterred by the criticism and continues to allocate more funds for these developments. Which of these mega projects do you find the most impressive? Are there any other projects in India that you'd like us to cover? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.